Hello everyone, this video is about the isolation, their mechanism and the types of the isolation and the what are the role of the isolating mechanism in the evolution process. So isolation is a process by which the segregation of the population of a particular species into a smaller unit which prevent interbreeding between them. So it is a uh, physical or the biotic barrier which prohibits uh, accidental interbreeding. So basically there are four types of the isolation. So first uh, the isolation by time and isolation by distance and the isolation uh, by the reproductive isolation and the uh, last one is the reproductive isolation. So geographical isolation includes the geographical bar barrier or the physical barrier which may be the mountain seas, volcanic formations, forest, fire, sorry forest, uh, desert etc which cannot freely interbreed is called as the geographical isolation. Examples are the Darwin finches of the Galapagos Island, Australian marsupials and the Prancid placentals geographical isolation can be defined as the sympatric population in a sympatric population or in the allopatric population so reproductive uh, reproductive isolation is a process in which a section of member of the population fails to reproduce uh, with each other and becomes reproductively isolated termed as a reproductive isolation which may be of the two types that is pre matting or the pre zygotic and the post matting and the post zygotic and it is further classified into many subtypes so pre matting uh, uh, is the uh, mechanism in which we prevent interspecific crosses uh, that is fertilization and the zygote formation mechanical isolation uh, in which the uh, it acts as a uh, lock and key and the differences in their genetic organ which prevent interbreeding among themselves for example interspecific crosses in the drosophila may cause injury or even death to the participant without transfer of the sperm. The next one is the ecological isolation in which they are different habitats so the potential mat meet but do not mat. So there are two subspecies of the water snake. One is the freshwater and the other one is the salt, salt water lives in the same area but their hybrids are not found naturally. Pathological isolation refers to the changes in their uh, sexual behavior or incompatible behavior before matting. So examples are the sex attractants uh, like ectohormones, pheromones, the song of the birds, courtship behavior, etc. Temporal isolation in this uh, isolation, the potential mat meets but unable to mat. So at different times, the maturation time is different and they are... Uh, Tem uh, temperature is also different so examples are the three four subspecies of a frog in the northern eastern u.s so post matting includes the in this uh, fertilization takes place but the hybrids are zygotes are formed but these are inviable or give back to the weak or sterile hybrids gametic mortality in which the gametes are uh, not uh, formed and the genital tracts of the female due to antigenic reaction or different physiological conditions Gametic mortality includes uh, example like Drosophila leads to an enormous swelling of the vaginal wall and subsequent uh, killing of the sperms. Zygotic mortality includes the uh, formation of the zygote but it cannot uh, survive and die before the maturity uh, before the fetus formation. So interspecific fibers between the two subspecies of the genera result in the death of the embryo at the eight cell stage. Hybrid inviability in which the zygotes are formed and uh, hybrids produce but uh, they are uh, the day the, they die before the maturity gain hybrid sterility in which the hybrids are formed and they are vi viable but they are sterile and cannot produce the young ones so these hybrids are formed when the natural matting partners are not available in captivity and the last one is the hybrid or the f2 breakdown in which the uh, hy hybrid produced uh, produced hybrids are the fertile but the offspring will sterile resulting to the end of the generation for example male tiger into female lion tigon and the ligon so role of the isolating uh, pro uh, mechanism the it increases the efficiency of the matting it protect the integrity of the genetic system of a species it protect gene pool of a species and the prevent in hybridization it prevent wastage of the gametes and energy a weak isolating mechanism leads to provoke uh, promote of a new species through hybridization that's all about the isolation their mechanism and the role of isolating mechanism keep watching thank you